Hi, Jorge. Hi, Jose. Mario. Good evening. How you doing? Hi, good evening. Very good. How you doing? Are you home already? Yes, um, actually today was um, uh, off duty. Oh, your day off, nice. Did you do something at home? Good evening. Hi, yeah, Jorge, good evening. Only rested. Uh, yeah, try to uh, get some energies lost, but I uh, couldn't. So. <laughs> So try to catch up with your sleep, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, but the good thing is that you were at home and that is just something, right? So it is necessary from time to time to have a day off. So cool to hear that. How you doing, Jorge? Everything all right? Uh, everything okay, teacher. Just nice. kind of boring my day. In the, in the Why? Work. Why was it boring? because uh, a lot of work in the computer. Ah, okay. Did you have to complete a lot of reports? Um, I, can, I can say that because mm -hmm. I had to, to check some documents, okay. some files and, and do, do Comment, com comentarios, do uh, yes, comments, suggestions, <laughs> review. Uh huh. Oh, that's bad. Okay, so that is, I guess, a lot of paperwork, right? Mm, yes, uh, definitely is is to to do a new uh, contract. Ah, okay. Are you the person who reviews like contracts by the end of the, or I don't know, are you the person who, who make like amendments or something like that to the proposals? The kind, kind of, because mm -hmm. I have to, to review and prepare the, the doc documents to mm -hmm. send the, the office, the central office, Mm -hmm. And they they send to the to the uh, offerings. I don't know how to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, but it, yeah. Well, I don't know if it's boring, but the thing is that it sounds you have to be in front of the computer all day long, right? So it's like, um, <laughs> okay, I totally get that part. All right, but anyways, the important thing is that um you know probably tomorrow is gonna be different so probably you're gonna be out do you normally um are you in the field uh not so much ah, okay but uh it depends uh, normally i or ge in general i go to the to the what the campo or to the site? To the site to, to, view, to see the, the works. Or ah, to the field in that case, or the, the construction site. Okay, okay, so doesn't sound that boring at all. <laughs> okay. Mr. Rios, good evening, thank you for joining. Hi, Susana, thank you for joining as well. Really nice to Thanks, see you teacher. here. Yeah. How you Thanks, doing? Teacher. Hey, Mr. Rivas, I'm glad to, to hear your voice. <laughs> So are you working? Uh, Nelson, good evening. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. I am so glad to hear everyone. Nice. So I think yesterday I heard you participating. So I was like, yeah, he's back. <laughs> so whenever you have the chance, you are always uh, welcome to interact with us. So super nice to have you. How you doing, guys? How is your Tuesday? Is everything all right? Uh, as Jorge, are you kind of bored? Is it? Did you have like a nice day, an interesting day, a tiring day, or was it okay? Let me 
uh, Susanna, how was your day? Was it okay? Was it boring too? I think Susanna just left me in scene, you know, <laughs> like in WhatsApp. <laughs> Okay, no, I guess she's busy. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Susana. No worries. That's fine. Alrighty, guys. Um, thank you so much uh, for joining, for making the time, and uh, for being here today. Uh, we started yesterday talking about some disasters. Uh, that is part of the unit that we have for this one, and we'll continue working with disasters and the emergencies today. Uh, to get started, guys. I just have some pictures for you. I wanted to share them and uh, so you can give me your opinion, what you think they are. Um, and if you consider they are kind of dangerous jobs. Uh, guys, first, I got a question for you. Um, which do you think are the most, oh, I'm sorry about the spelling. Which do you think are the most dangerous jobs, guys? Which are the most dangerous? I have here like some pictures that may represent dangerous jobs, but I don't know, tell me. Is there any job you consider dangerous? Is your job dangerous? Mm, I, I consider the work in the water is, is very dangerous. Okay, so working in the water can be dangerous. Okay, like this person, like the welder. Like the well, welder or? <laughs> yes, that kind of works. Or maybe we, we, may, we are uh, building or construction uh, a dam. Ah, here in El Salvador. Yes. Where? So here in San Miguel, in the Torola River. Then. Oh, one of my friends is working in that construction. He is a welder. <laughs> okay, so we are here. Ah, okay. That that then. Wow, but those are dangerous jobs. Yes, we have a lot of water. Uh, and a wall is uh, cracking. No cracking, just uh, supporting a lot of water. The dam. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. Dike. You can say that dike. A dike. Dike. Um, I'm not quite sure to be honest. Let me just check super quick. Um, a dike. Uh, uh, how do you spell it? Super like technical, so I'm not familiar with the word. Uh, is it like, wait, I have it as a wall. Dyke, like a D E K E. Okay, uh, D E K E. I cannot find it. I found it as no, a it's word. D, it's D I K E. Okay, just let me check it out. But it's like a big wall. Oh, yes, sir. It's a but long it's... wall to prevent flooding from the sea. Oh, okay. Okay, but like a imagine... sort of supporting. Yes, but oh. imagine that that uh, big wall uh, fail or block. Oh, you're yeah. right. I mean, but are there families living in the river, like in the in the shore of the river, or like in the ravine areas? Uh, below that that area, there mm -hmm. are uh, families 
leave it there. Ooh, so yeah, it could be really dangerous if something happens to that wall, right? Oh, thank you for that word. That is new to me, you know. I am not familiar with that kind of vocabulary. So thank you, I already got it. And it's um, also with letter Y, so interesting. Ah, okay. Guys, we have here like some other jobs. Which do you think are quite dangerous? Is your job dangerous? Or does your job include a little bit of danger? Hi, Sylvia, good evening. Tatiana, good evening, great to see you. Hi, Wendy. I think I saw Diana somewhere. Good evening, guys. Hey, hi, everybody. Hello, there. So, guys, uh, are your jobs dangerous? Or not at all? No way. Does it include any danger? No, not really. Okay, what about these jobs? Look at the second question. It says, would you like to get any of these jobs? Um, guys, what about job number one? What do you think about this job? Is that something that you like to get? Uh, to be like an animal tamer or to work with animals in a zoo or in a circus? Do you think it could be dangerous? Could be dangerous. Yes, teacher. <laughs> a lot yeah. of danger. Okay. Or people who work in Fureza. Have you ever been to Fureza? Yes. Would you like to work there? Mm, they are yeah. beautiful animals. No, you're not into those kind of jobs. Uh, I I remember in one in one time uh, and a leon uh, escaped from the from the jail. I think so. Like like what? Eight, I, nine years ago, something like that, here, right? Yes, in Pureza. Yes, yes, I remember that, mm -hmm. that happened. And uh, I, well, I I saw in the TV. Ah, okay. I thought you were in Pureza that day. <laughs> okay, so you just saw it in the news. Okay, already. Um, then we have some other jobs like welders, especially people who work under the water, right? Or in ships or those kind of uh, places. Uh, we have people who, uh, who collect diamonds or um, who collect fish, right? Fishermen, um, there are some jobs in other countries and then we have construction. Um, why do you think these jobs can be dangerous, guys? What can happen? Like what would be the worst case scenario uh, for these jobs? A teacher, I think the, the construction because he's in the high. <laughs> okay, so he's in, uh, working in heights. Very similar to what Jorge mentioned before, that is they are, you know, making this a uh, dam, right? So a lot of things can go wrong. Okay. A anything else? I mean, imagine you get dizzy. Imagine you're like super high and then suddenly you feel dizzy and you're like, oh, you know. I know you, you wear security or safety um, gear, but oh my God, <laughs> I don't want to think about it. Um, what could go wrong, guys, in these uh, pictures or in these scenarios? For me, teacher, construction is very yeah, dangerous. Why? Hi, Ariela. Good evening. Hi. Great to see you. Why, um, Carlos? Because you know an, uh, the work. Uh, extremely occasionally higher. Okay. Like the picture, the main the picture, mm -hmm. the Viga in English. How do you say? Mm -hmm. in. Spelling Viga. In. Oh, thank you, Jorge. Okay. Good evening. Hi, hi, Manuel. Good evening. Great to have you. I think we have more people here, so give me just a second. Uh, for uh, in my opinion, I like I like the the job for welding in the in the in the uh, 
in the part of uh, left, uh, I saw one person who is is uh, solding uh, welding. Welding. Mm -hmm. welding. Yes. But uh, for me, this is a a big risk for uh, the work from uh, of electrician. Okay, but it, is uh, it dangerous? Why, yeah, why dangerous is it considered because, dangerous? Yeah, because uh, I like this job, uh, but in the area, uh, what, what do you say? Uh, in, in a superficie, arriba. Okay. Because, because mm -hmm. he's, he's welding what, on the water. Mm -hmm. That's right. For me, the co uh, the combination of water and electricity is very dangerous. Teaching teacher, have you ever done it? Have you ever welded like underneath the water? Uh, I mean, underneath a surface or like um, a body? Uh, only in the surface, yes. Ah, okay. But the water, I never. I guess, or I believe there must be some special equipment, right? Uh, yes, to do that yes. because of what you said. So it is really dangerous. Okay. Really? For me, this is... Okay, okay. Guys, what about any other job that you consider is quite dangerous or a lot of things can go wrong in a job? Teacher, in the first picture, that many in, in the mouth of the crocodile, it no is dangerous, it's a crazy job. You wouldn't do it? <laughs> no. And, uh, not even with, I don't know, a gorilla or a different kind of animal? Only pandas, I liked. You like pandas? <laughs> I don't know if they are aggressive. <laughs> are they considered ag aggressive animals? No, right? Because I like no oh, aggressive. Okay. Okay, I mean, yeah, I, I think they're not, but imagine a bird or a big animal, a grizzly. Teacher. Yeah. Eh, oh, a job. ¿Cómo se dice? Ay, un. <laughs> there is a job. There is a job. Uh, dream, no. Dream panda. Dream panda. Yeah. Yes. I see, I see in, 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 in Facebook or Instagram, I don't remember. Okay, yes. I'm, I'm sorry, but I didn't get the job. What, what is the job? Dream, uh, uh, dormir a los pandas. Um, like, made them fall asleep? Yes. Is that a job? <laughs> so, you, so made them fall asleep. What? Okay. 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 That that is unexpected. <laughs> but in which country? Because pandas, I think, just in Japan or Tokyo. I don't know. China. Where did you find China? China. 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 China? Okay, Thailand yeah. probably in China. I don't know where like these species are still, um, you know, inhabit because there are not many places. So, all right, China. So you need to move to China, Wendy, to get that job. <laughs> okay, but to make them fall less. I would That's, like that job too. Yes, working. Why, Juan Carlos? Yes, yes. Sure. I think. I think another uh, dangerous dangerous job is uh, the people who work in the cir circus. Uh, yeah. I don't know how to say the the person who who is in the in the air yeah. and he's doing the I don't know the the gymnasts like the like the athletes or the acrobat and uh, the people who are doing some acrobats so. Incredible. Yes, uh, okay. or, or 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 when the the 
the girl is is handle the I don't know the is like a, a tell. What do you mean? Oh, the, the, oh, the dancers. Dancers in the the, the air dancers. The yes. Oh, yes. okay. Yeah, they have a like a like a piece of fabric. So Tela, we can call it fabric. To be honest, I don't know what kind of fabric it is, but I believe it gotta be super strong. And they are dancing, right? They are dancing in the air, so they are performers. It's syncatex. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so for the uniforms, you know. Okay. Yeah, there are really dangerous jobs in the circus. Have you ever seen the canon with, the canon with man? The lions. Yes. Uh -huh, so with lions too, the mm -hmm. cannonball, right? Like only only in a video because in live liveness, no. Mm, I haven't seen it live, but I would like to, you know. Just to scream, <laughs> I think it would be super cool. But it's yeah, we do have a couple. Yes, Jorge. Here, here in my in my job, there are a lot of kind of work dangerous. But I consider the the work of them is uh, manipulate ex, ex, explosive. Oh yes, you have them in your company, right? And who, who does that? Is the person will train to manipulate uh, explosives or? Yes, there are, there are a company in charge to, to ah. explode the, the, the field to, to get the, the level that is necessary. Oh, that's right. So you are definitely, you know, into, you see these kind of jobs every all, single all of day. All is, is, is in here. Uh -huh, uh, it's true. In the, in the highest is the, is the more common. Uh, okay. No, but that is actually very dangerous. Um, have you ever had the chance to go and, and be there when they are manipulating explosives? Yes, I I have the opportunity to see the controlling explosive is when you you see the sequence of the the explosion. Oh, cool! Okay, like a movie. <laughs> okay, uh, did you get scared? Yeah. No, because uh, they don't uh, permit oh. that the people are near Around. to the, yes. That's a lot. Distance, secure distance. Ah, okay. That's so bad. <laughs> I mean, but, it, but it's still, it, uh, I guess it's really noisy, right? When but the explosion goes off. Yes. Yes, but it's very interesting. Yes, but very dangerous. Imagine something goes wrong and there is too much um, explosive into, into, I don't know, in the field or, or, you know, just a lot of things can go wrong. Wow, really interesting. So, but today, guys, um, now that you mentioned that, definitely in your job, you have a lot of things can go wrong, that can go wrong. But I want to get started with the most common things that we have right here. So give me one sec, wait, wait, wait. For some reason, this is out of the, wait, the picture is not complete here. Give me one second. Um, wait, wait a sec. Okay. I think it can work. Okay, guys. So um, I have here this little picture about some of the most common uh, cases, scenarios, the most common, like for all companies, right? For everybody. Uh, probably this can happen in your office. It can happen in your house. It can happen like everywhere. So, um, and uh, we got the following. Wait, what is wrong with this? Okay, there we go. 
So it, it goes, uh, this question goes like, why could they be dangerous? To whom could they be dangerous? And what could someone do to lessen the danger they present? So we have a couple of really common stuff. Uh, guys, I don't know if your company works with some gases or bleach, right? Some companies work with chemical, chemical components. Um, so between them, we have this that is super common that we also have it in the house, uh, that is bleach, right? Um, so people who work, for example, in cleaning companies, so you work with a lot of different um, chemicals that can be very dangerous. So, but take a look at some of them. So here we have um, why all these places can be dangerous. What is the danger they represent, right? And of course, uh, if in your company you have had any accident, what could someone do to lessen the danger? So what could you do uh, to minimize, to reduce, to lessen the danger they present? And we have super common things like a hot pan or when you're cooking, right? Hot, a uh, hot curl, curling iron. Um, for people who work in beauty salons, right? Um, or I don't know if there's any, compa any other uh, company that uses those things. The only thing that comes to my mind is a beauty salon, right? So these machines that are used uh, for working with the hair, uh, knives, windows, we have gasoline, insecticide, natural gases, uh, balconies, we have staircases, uh, stool, ladder, uh, remember that stairs is something permanent and a ladder is what you use to climb, right? Uh, yard tools, what you find in your, in your garden, in your yard. <laughs> we have a bad dog. I don't know if a dog can represent any danger. What is it? Uh, a swim set, um, very clean sliding door. Guys, I don't know if you have ever crashed with a, wi uh, with a window or uh, these kind of doors that are crystal clear, right? Uh, and that sometimes when there is nothing on them, uh, we don't see, we don't notice that there is a door over there and we can crash with them. I don't know if you have ever crashed with any door. Uh, we have a lake, a pond, a slippery. Yesterday we saw the word slippery, right? That is something that um, in which you can trip you can fall. Then we have a glass table, sharp edges. Um, so the edge is like a corner, right? Um, for example, we have tables that are that, ha that have super sharp edges, um, hard hair dryer, and of course you can mention a lot more things. So guys, why are these things dangerous? Have you ever had an accident with any of those? Uh, please guys, take a picture, take a screenshot of the vocabulary. I know it's a lot. So let's go ahead and, okay. And let's talk about them. So I'm going to give you like 10 minutes to discuss most, um, most you can. And then we go ahead and share. The, if you have more, please share all the ones you can. Give me one moment. I don't know what's wrong with my computer. Okay. So, two, three. Okay, guys. So I'm going to um, invite you to go and join the group. Uh, so, Mr. Rivas, Jorge, stay here, please. Manuel, Mario, Tati, and Wendy, stay here. The rest, guys, uh, Ana, Ariela, Diana, Mr. Valle, Nelson, Silvia, and Susana, let's join the group some minutes, please, um, so we can talk about this picture. Guys, we have 10 minutes to come uh, to talk about why these objects can be dangerous. I'm going to close my mic so you can feel free to participate. <laughs> okay, so guys, we got 10 minutes. If you have more objects, please include them to the list.
All right. George. Mario. Hello. Hello. Uh, hot, Wendy. Hot pan. White hot pan. It's a, it's a common uh, article uh, to, to cook uh, uh, your, your food. In eh, español, son las cacerolas. Oh, oh yeah. pan es la cacerola. Cacerola pan caliente. La, 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 ajá, caliente, correcto. Ah, y tenemos que ver entonces qué es como lo sí. más peligroso. Si sí, 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 le ha pasado cual. algo de eso. Oh, si sí, ya me ha pasado algo. In my case, me cuchillo, ¿verdad? Es knife. 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 Sí, es cuchillo. Ok. Ay. Es muy cómodo. ¿Cómo se dice cortar? Cut. Cut my finger eh. with knife. Mm. Eh. Mm. Will you say quemarse? Born. 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 Yes, born. Born with hot, born with hot pan. No. Hot pot. All right. And hey. Other thing. Um. Hey, what does mean balcony? Uh, I think it's balcones. Balcone. Balcon. Balcon. George? Yes. Uh, Balcon. Sí. Right? Es como un corredor en una segunda planta, un barandal uh -huh. donde te puedes caer. Tipo uh -huh. terraza. Uh -huh. Será tipo terraza, me imagino. Uh -huh. Yes, Michael. Normally, it's okay. slippery, slippery. Okay. She's she. Yes. Okay. Uh, what is the most dangerous? Other thing, but but dog, but <laughs> but dog is my dog. <laughs> Do you uh, fell down a staircase? Stair, staircase. I don't know. The staircase is a escalera. Ah, okay. Yeah. Pero es la escalera manual. Te caíste de ahí. No, no. Is the okay, stairs? Stairs. Eh, eh, pienso que es la escalera, pero la, para subir a una segunda. Permanent. Per, permanent. Ah. Escalera permanente. Staircase. Ah, esa es. Ah. Yes, es por la grada, la grada, le llamamos nosotros. Por la grada. Yes. Ajá, la grada and, y la ladder, ladder es la ladder escalera normal, is, la, la manual. Yes, that you can take and move the, okay. the ladder. Ah, ok, ok, thank you. Right. ¿Cuál es la primera? For me, it's, it's difficult to decide what, what the... the all of the more the situation is dangerous. For example, uh, I think uh, gasoline. No, pero son cosas que le han pasado a usted. Uh, uh, it, uh, why could they be dangerous? To whom could I they could, be dangerous? And what I could someone to do? Lessen the danger I, they present. And I, I, Ajá, ¿cuáles serían peligrosas y qué se podría hacer para disminuirlo? El peligro. The pool could be very dangerous if you don't, if you can swim. Yes, yes. Yes, in the case of gasoline, I have an experience, but I, I only, I, I, I saw one emergency 
for this uh, product. Uh, in a gas station. Uh, yes, it, 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 it's many, uh, it's, uh, it's very common uh, to see emergencies in gas station, but in a, a, a garage, a, okay. Someone, uh, somebody was uh, what uh, fixing uh, uh, the car, the motor, but suddenly uh, the car, yes, the the car uh, get 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 on fire, right? And the chauffeur was in the 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 car uh, starting uh, he he was trying uh, uh, start the motor but suddenly the car uh, got fire and the person uh, died died because yeah. the died the old the yeah the temp no in the hospital uh, the uh, ten uh, 100% of the of her her body uh, yes. was born born yes born but for me the gasoline is very very dangerous in a yes. gas station in a garage in, uh, i don't know everywhere <laughs> i think it's the same with the with the gas because in the kitchen it, when you yes. when you are cooking and and, yes. and you don't pay attention to the i don't know what is the name of the the, 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 oh, the uh, yes the gas yeah. could be could be expand around oh. there and that is very dangerous Mm -hmm. uh, because you can you can breathe that that gas and that is very dangerous too. I, I think I that is... There is dangerous in the in the kitchen the the oven in the part of below of the kitchen there are uh, oven then you you has to put the the photo, how do you say it? Um, but the idea is you uh, that can explode. I I consider it dangerous to to use the the oven of the kitchen. Okay. When you are taking a shower too. It can be very dangerous when you, uh, without. If you without, have a. If you don't have car. your. Huh? I'm sorry. If you have an, an electrical. Uh, ducha, how do you say ducha? Electrodomestic. Oh. Electrical. Electrical or other other thing. <laughs> Where the the water is fell down from the, in your head in your in your body, but uh, there are electrical. Sometimes is 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 dangerous too. But then in the balcony, the problem could be if you are maybe drunk, you can fall down to the to the lower level and die, obviously. In my opinion, for the child, for the children, hot pan, hot and knife, 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 you know, that, uh, Knife. Yes. Knife. Uh, keep knife in care uh, of the babies or or children in hot and 
or hot pot in a pool is important care uh, a children the children yes so how do you uh, lessen the danger uh, may uh, avoid avoid or or not giving the permission to the child to stay by the the pool or gas station or balcony or or whatever uh, what about this carpet on the slippery tile floor uh, hair dryer uh, i consider uh, many women uh, use uh, the hair dry hair dryer hair dryer I, I, okay hair dryer i consider is a is a risk for the children because okay. uh, they they see when the mom is drying her 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 hair but mm -hmm. they don't they don't know the risk uh, for burning but i i, I think it's important the 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 mommies uh, take they uh, the pay and they pay attention uh -huh. uh, to avoid yes uh, when when they put the the, the, the article uh, and wait wait for wait for when when the the article is is a uh, call yes i because, i like because, mm -hmm, this article is, is is really really hot I, I like when they they use that that machine but i i agree with you i i consider it could be dangerous if they yes. don't keep in in a place in a safe place to avoid yes, that safe place. children could be uh, born with that. Yes, yes. And my my wife uh, used to use this uh, this uh, machine, <laughs> but mm -hmm. we also have uh, have the, the 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 care with with our daughter because uh, considering the the, the risk uh, usually she doesn't doesn't use but my daughter yes she she uses the the hair dryer but yeah uh, she is uh, 17 years old <laughs> okay. yeah, I, I already she know how to use uh, this machine <laughs> okay do you have the an experience with with very clean glass light indoor Mm. I I had an accident just once in a lifetime, <laughs> but the in a the, bank or something like that. Yes, uh, with a, a very clean glass sliding door in a in a building, uh, mm -hmm. but the the glass doesn't have a marking a, any signal a, nothing nothing to to see a, the for example a, a, any recommend to when you are from 
the the door and the glass doesn't doesn't break but my i, I don't know my my throat <laughs> i i left the building with a, a big book in my my friend what do you say my friend <laughs> In front, in front, but uh, the 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 door doesn't doesn't break, but the the glass it, it was very very gross, gross, very gross. <laughs> uh, that could be could be gross, could could be worse if you broken that that glass because the. I I consider those. I, I consider it's better. It's better that that the breaks that, that the glass. The glass it, was it, 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 it was yes because when the when the door broken you can injurious you can hurt your 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 skin. But yes. when, when the the glass is, is gross. It doesn't break. Uh, For me, but, it's more dangerous if the is the is the glass uh, breaking. But how do you can reduce the the risk of? Yes, uh, of course. I I do. I I did mention to the. Uh, security about the the door. Hey, please, uh, you can mark in the door with alert. Put a signal. Uh, sorry. Put a signal in the. Yes. In the put door. Yes. Put or it on in the, in the in the in the door, but uh, is. Suddenly, the people is is a uh, walk uh, uh, fast, uh, walk too the fast. Uh, <laughs> uh, they, they they don't put attention for the doors. Is a uh, it is the the. Yeah. Uh, I consider they they have to put some. Mark or signal in that kind of yes. not door because it's dangerous. Yes. But what do you uh, do? You understand for lake retention pond? Uh, lake retention pond. Lake, lake retention. Pond. I guess something like a uh, no? something like that, maybe. Sorry, no. repeat, please. Me imagino que va a ser como así como algo como túmulo. Quizás como marcas para detener la velocidad, tal vez. Reductores. Correcto. Lake, pero que tiene que ver la palabra lake. Uh, lake sound like mm -hmm. like lago, ¿no? Mm -hmm. No sea como algo como para retener agua o algo así. Como la, como una en, en los lagos, como una presa o algo así. Como para okay. retener. Porque dice el lake. Ah, es como un estanque, creo yo. Ajá, algo así. Es correcto. Como agua retenida. Estanque, seguramente. Yes, es estanque de retención, es the meaning. Retention pond. Uh, ok. Ok. It's like a pool. Like a pool. De, de, eh, is. Eh, uh, I think uh, the 
enterprise or companies that use uh, this type of uh, container or retain retaining water they they have to consider they also putting mark or signals about the risk because like you said if the people uh, fall in the water if, if they if if he doesn't doesn't uh, uh, nothing can uh, swim obviously he the this person uh, can die in the in the place yes uh, what do you say Aogal? Know. Drunk, drunk, uh, drunk, drunk, drunk. I drunk. remember drunk. Uh, no, ahogar. Oh, ahogar. No, no, ahogarse. Ah, yes. drunk, mm. drunk. I remember drunk. Ah, uh, yeah. Like, uh, drunk. But Jorge, I think the best, the best advice it would be, uh, we have to be focused and everything because uh, in seconds can be different so we have to be focused all the time and for example uh, if you are cooking you have to take care of the of the of the gas you have to take care of the with the floor for example but i think the the most important is is uh, the person have to be focused and yes. Yes, yes, I consider it's the best yes. advice. Pay attention in whatever you you are, are doing or you or you imagine the, what you the problem, what George. Your car, you have to. Mm -hmm. The problem is that uh, no, no. Uh, not most of people uh, don't pay attention. That's why it's yes. uh, necessary uh, yeah. to take uh, uh, the recommendations uh, about the constructions uh, and yes. make, but, and but, make but the, imagine. The, what the difference? Mm -hmm. Yes, but imagine when you are drunk, uh, mm -hmm. you you don't pay attention to to any of the signal most mo okay. of the time, so you can you can be the the problem because of that. Uh, uh, if you you don't 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 be focused. Okay. Uh, usually, you get you you can be uh, the problem. Right. Uh, there are there are my. There are many people in the group. Uh, Mario, Anna, Raquel, what about you? Right, yeah. The image, yeah. 
the image yeah, is not here. The image I when... I don't know what happened, but... I... <laughs> Uh, some somebody uh, were or was sharing the the screen or not? Because uh, I don't, I can see the the image too. Yes. Uh, let me see. I don't know what happened, but I I have the the screen. I can share if you want. Would you see my screen? It's loading. Yeah, I can see. Can you see? Uh, okay. Uh, but uh, the, the last word. Uh, her her yeah. right. I can see each other. No, in the, in the left. Loading is loading. But loading? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You can see right. the screen. Yes. Uh, insecticides also uh, in a many years ago. Insecticides. Uh, was considering dangerous only if you uh, was in contact directly in uh, your your mouth your hands uh, also if you drink but uh, imagine imagine what what happened if you want to to sleep and avoid the the Sancudos, how do you say sancudos? The mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. So you, you can put the insecticide, insecticide in, in your room, in your bathroom, and you can and you sleep. You consider that is a risk? It's or dangerous. Is dangerous. George, but imagine the insecticides in the in the in the field, uh, in the open field, for example, in the field of cotton, in farm, mm -hmm. in, in the farm, uh, people actually is dying about uh, insufficiency renal, but yes, insecticides I mean. uh, nowadays. Uh, is a uh, uh, what do you say provocando or ah, causing is causing uh, people uh, uh, is uh, illness. Uh, illness illness in the people yeah, yes and the, in the uh, people are dying because of that yes uh, for Causing uh, the insecticides when the airplanes uh, was uh, spread the insecticides in the field, they uh, don't consider and I think uh, for for they is a matter the people were in the in the surface working the Insecticides uh, falls in in their body. But and you, you, and you in remember, the water, also in the water, yes. But you remember before when the when <clears throat> from the airplane they yes. put the, the insecticide in the field. Yes. So all the the trees or, or trees or for yes. fruit uh, was contaminated with that yes. chemical. 
Yes. And water yeah. because because when the chemical goes to the to the earth, part of part of them goes to the to, to the water inside of the yes. below the earth, and then you can maybe uh, drink water that are contaminated. Yes, that is the big problem. And you, if you visit the hospital, uh, you can see many people uh, consulting their illness and the, the prescription for medic is insufficiency renal because they they uh, were uh, in contact and they work they job with insecticides. Yes, it's 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 kind of works. Yeah, I didn't know about that, but very oh. interesting. <laughs> yes, don't remember in uh, the mayor of San Luis Talpa, la. I remember that case, but yes. I remember was because of the the company of the batteries record record. Ah, but I this remember. is this is in uh, Sitio del Niño uh, in San Juan o Pico. I'm yes, just listening, guys. I want to know the gossip too. What happened? <laughs> Tell us, please. Teacher, uh, some companies uh, contaminated the, the water with, with chemicals. With chemicals. Like insecticides. Yes. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, our colleague, Tati, Tati said uh, they didn't. They didn't know about the the San Luis Talpa. Uh, the mayor. Uh, they. Uh, uh, what do you say? Denunciar. Um, demanded. You know. So claim. I don't know exactly the word you want to in, use. In, yes, in the in the in the TV. Uh, he demanded uh, the, the the people was living in San Luis Talpa. Mo most of them uh, are illness, uh, but for insufficiency renal. Ah, okay. Because so we can use the word mention. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So, or pointed, because, and that's not like he just so, about, said, about right? Insecticide, the, the 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 dangerous. So that was a renal failure. Wow. When, like, recently? Recently, no. It's uh, about uh, ten years. Ten years when this illness is not common. In El Salvador, the first cases, but uh, continue the time, teacher. Uh, uh, actually, uh, this illness uh, is for different, is for different uh, situations. Okay. Uh, but in the, in the, I think. Uh, in the the first cases, yes, about uh, the the causing is uh, insecticides. The people was in contact directly mm. in the hands in in the in the uh, in the water mm. that they drunk. they consumed. Okay, they consumed. Yes, I I didn't I don't remember this one actually. I don't think I have memories of that event. Uh, just the one Jorge mentioned in Sitio del Niño, right? Uh, yes. Where the batteries, you have batteries record, record, record affecting the land yes. and causing cancer. I remember. Yes. Cancer. Um, I don't remember what else. Were like the consequences of the pollution and um, the plomo in the blue. In the blue. 
Mm, yeah, blood mm. issues as well. And some years ago, I remembered um, this thing with insecticides, like there was um, like a sort of cornfield. They use insecticide in the crops and then yes. they consume the, the food, but they didn't know. Uh, they got intoxicated, you know, they were yes. taken to the hospital because the insecticide was still in the, in the food. So, yes. I mean, it's amazing, but a lot of things go, can go wrong, right? Yes. All right, yeah. super cool, guys. Really, really nice. And thank you for sharing that. Um, guys, just a little uh, something here. We are going to check some pre uh, pronunciation. Am I sharing my screen? I know. Sorry, Jorge, I'm going to share um, the screen here. <laughs> okay, uh, for, the, for the moment, I was like, wait, is this my screen? It looks so small. <laughs> okay, uh, but it's just mine, you know. Okay, guys, so let's take a look at just some pronunciation here. Um, guys, repeat with me, please. This is knife. Knife. Very nice. We have insecticide. 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 Balcony. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, we have a sliding door. A sliding, sliding door. door. Loose carpet. Window. Loose carpet. Loose carpet. Loose carpet. A, a slippery tile. A slippery, slippery tile. tile. A slippery tile. H. 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 Yeah, that H we said is kind of the la, la punta, right? Como la el kilo. Mm -hmm. La esquina, not necessarily a corner or something, but um, el borde, right? What is around something, that is the H. So normally that can be um, like really, really bad. All right, so, mm -mm. oh, and just a little word that I hear and I didn't want to stop you or anything. Um, I heard around the word uh, grueso. I don't know what you guys were talking about. I just remember that word. And just to make sure we get it, we have this word that is thick, right? Cuando hablamos de materiales. That was when Manuel uh, hit the, the glass door with your front. <laughs> ah, with the forehead. Yeah, I think I was listening to somebody. I, was, I don't really remember. But yeah, I think something like that. So when we're talking about material and um, we're talking thick. about the thickness, uh -huh, we the use thickness the word thick. Because oh, gross yes. puede confundirse mucho. It can be really confusing, como la palabra ayer, casualty, if you remember. That is not a casualidad, but casualty mm -hmm. is the people. So gross is asqueroso, you know? So gross oh. is disgusting. Uh -huh. So it can be a little confusing, right? But grueso oh. en sentido de um, materiales, you know, material. Eh, yes. Thick. What? Yeah. What else? It's uh, measure. Yeah. Material construction. Yeah. In terms of measurements, that would be thick, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly so. I just got the word and I wanted, you know, to bring it. Uh, so we are like on the same side. Okay, guys, very, very nice. So um, give me one second here. Give me just a sec. Okay. Uh, no, wait a second. I'm missing something important. There we go. Okay. So when we are talking about crisis, safety, accidents, and all those things, we also come into these important words. So we have some common things that can happen at work, like slips, burns, cuts, sprain, broken bones, dislocation, blisters. But I'm missing one important word here, and I'm gonna include it, otherwise we'll, uh, that is trick. Um, so I'll explain this in a second to you. Um, okay. Okay, guys, so first, uh, just help me with pronunciation, please. Repeat with me. Slip. 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 Mm, a little shorter. So if you say slip, okay, slip. so lo hagan lo más corto. 
Sleep is this one, and this is slip. Mask or slip. Burns. Burn. Cut. Cut. Sprain. Sprain. Broken bones. Broken bones. Dislocation. Dislocation. Blisters. Blisters. Swelling. Swelling. Hit. Hit. Trip. Trip. Oil. Oil. Poisoning. Poisoning. Poison. Uh huh. It's like poison, right? Poisoning. Okay. Broken bones. Broken bones. Backache. Backache. And we have this word a. What other words can we make with a? So we have backache, like a pain in your back. What else? Stomachache. Stomachache, headache, uh huh. Toothache, right? Earache. So we have a lot more. Okay. So ache, fracture, fracture, bruise, bruise, sunburn. Do you know the meaning of this? The, these words, do you identify them? Bruises, okay, bruises. Let me just say that Bru one. Bruises. How do you say bruise? Okay, bruise. Oh, any bruise. other new word? No, how, what's yeah, the meaning? Okay. What's blisters. the meaning? Mm -hmm. Sprain and blisters. Okay, sprain. Swelling. Bruises, swelling, okay. Package. Interesting. Oh, nobody, nobody asked me for three. <laughs> okay, <laughs> guys, it's different. It's not like a tour. <laughs> okay. Uh, wow. so poisoning. Okay. What does mean and, trip, teacher? Okay. Slip. This one. Not trip. Ah, uh, trip. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> Let me help you with the meaning. Um, so they are accidents. All of them are accidents that happen to us uh, wherever we go. And we have the first one that is a sprain. For example, you're walking and suddenly, you know, you don't break your ankle. You don't break your foot. Just it moves. You stumble, right? And you have a terrible pain. Like you twist. So a sprain is twist, all right? Um, so you can have a twisted ankle or the most common is sprain. So that is kind mm -hmm. of twist. twist. Mm -hmm. So sprain or twist. Then we have blisters. Guys, when you buy medicine, when you buy acetaminophen, they come in blisters, right? Blister. But blister, <laughs> Um, have you ever, I don't have any pill at hand. Okay, but they come in blisters. But when you are cooking and you get burned, your skin goes big and there is like a big bowl with water. Have you seen it? Yes. That is called blisters. So blister is an accident, right? When you get burned. So you get burned and then you get blisters. Okay. Or when you have new shoes. So when you have new shoes, uh, no socks on, you forget to put on your socks. Come on, boy. Ah, yes, exactly. You get blisters. Oh, yeah. So that is why the medicine se llama blisters. Porque son como el espacio, right? The space mm -hmm. for ah, the pill. Yes, so yes, that is blister. Right. Mm -hmm. That's a blister. Um, the other one is swelling. Oh, imagine, guys, that you hurt uh, yourself or you cut, you know, you're cooking and you cut one part of your body. So your, your hand, your skin, your wrist gets big and big and big. That is called swelling. Or you can, uh -huh, or you can say, I, my hand is so swollen. Or your feet, right? When you walk a lot. So you walk a lot. Oh, my feet are so swollen. Um, what other part of the body can be swollen, guys? That is super common. That it gets super big. 
swollen? The, the stomach ache. Ah, yes. yes. <laughs> well, with the stomach, there the is stomach. another thing that happens. With the stomach, we get bloated. So with the stomach, it's some mas como gases, right? <laughs> so that is bloated. It's como, you know, your stomach gets super deep. That's bloated. Mm -hmm. But yes. Swollen is sudar entonces, teacher. No, swollen. Eh, ah, the sweat. No, swollen is inflamado. And bloated no, no. is inflamado too. Pero cuando hablamos del estómago. So your stomach okay. or los intestinos. Your intestine, right? That you say, ah, I siento muy grande el estómago. It's so I'm bloated. That's the one we normally use. Um, so swollen, blisters, sprain. Then we have trip. Uh, trip is not a tour. When we are talking about trip, we talk about trip and foil. Um, so when you, when can you trip? Mm, oh, let me show you. Let me show you. Wait. It's easier if I show you. I don't want to uh, get you confused. Okay, look at this man. Look at this rope or a cable. I don't know what it is. What do you think is going to happen to the man? He fell down, he fell mm -hmm. He is going to fall down. But why is he going to fall down? Because he is going to trip. Uh -huh. So trip is like enredarse uh -huh. or tropezar. So he's going to trip and then fall. This other man, the same. He's going to trip and fall, right? Um, I think I just, oh, and the kids, look at the children. Oh, same thing. They're going to trip and they are going to fall. So trip is this, right? Like tropezarse, enredarse. So we can use those words for this kind of scenarios. Okay. Um, poisoning, guys, help us with poisoning. What's poisoning? I'm sorry, can you say that again? If you, if you drunk poison. Uh -huh, so, yeah, you can drink poison, but also you can get other, um, I don't know, what can you use or? Envenen, no. Yes, yeah, you use poison. Mm -hmm. Envenenamiento. 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 So what can you poison or what can you get poison with? With insecticide. Insecticide? Yes. No, but by accident, you know, not because you want to do something bad, no, because out of an accident. So insecticides. Chlo no. Bleach. So you say chloro? Bleach. 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 Mm -hmm. Or, or Bleach. Lejia. Bleach. yes, bleach. Uh, bleach. Mm -hmm. Bleach. Gasoline. Gas, yes, gasoline. That, guys, that is something we have in our houses. Gasoline. Guys, have you ever drank gasoline? No. <laughs> Not even by accident? Boys, have you ever drank, an, I don't know, a little bit of gasoline? No, teacher. Never. No, never. Do you know? No. But, um, I have a brother, an older brother, and when he was four years old, in my house, um, I think everybody has drank cola champan, right? And cola champan is like yeah. um, yellowish oh. orange color. Uh -huh. okay. So my father had a little bit of gasoline that was like orangish in the one bottle. bottle. My brother was bored. He didn't know, but it was a bit, a little, a little bottle. So he drank gasoline, and everybody was super worried. Because they thought that, I don't know, he was going to get intoxicated or something. And it's fine. <laughs> so I don't know, you know, what happened. But that was bad. So we can get, you know, poisoned or intoxicated with everything. Uh, anything else you can the same get case, The same case with the, with the acetone. Uh, if you have a, in a bottle uh, of water, you uh -huh. can confuse it with the acetone. 
Oh, but drinking that iron, no. <laughs> it is really strong. The smell is really strong, right? Yeah. And I think, I don't know how strong the effect for that is. Is it similar to bleach? Guys, do you know about chemicals? No. Does anybody know about chemicals? I don't know much. Okay. Oh, nobody. Guys, nobody works with chemical companies. Does your company distribute chemicals? No, no teacher. No, nobody. Um, there, is, there was a student, you know, who used to work. She was a salesperson and she used to work for a company that distributes um, like, I don't know how to call it. Those are chemicals for cleaning, you know, but they distribute these, um, I don't remember the name, not even in Spanish. Acido, y, oh, I, that, uh, that one is the one that destroys, no. Hilurónico. That one, that one. I remember it was with H. So that is the one that destroys, right? Yes. And she, I mean, she tried to explain, right, that if one of those uh, liquids touch your body, uh, kind of destroys or damages, I mean, part of your body. So Entonces, I was like, what? Ácido, ácido hidrochlorhídrico, teacher. Mm, that is the one no, that Christian mentioned. Uh -huh, I mean, super, super yes. dangerous. Super, yes. uh -huh. super dangerous. I, I passed something like that. Tell us, Claudia. In my bathroom. <laughs> like, like the Mimi. I was cleaning my bathroom and some, 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 some. I, I, busy. I was alone with my little baby. And it, it was in the night and my husband went to play football. And then I okay. called him because uh, uh, my love feels a bit weird. <laughs> But I never told him that I was cleaning up the bridge. He's gonna mess with me. <laughs> but I know that the, the, the cleaner with acid. Uh, so, yeah, so you mixed? So you mixed the two liquids? No, that, uh, that was pure. But I uh, buy it in the day. It was uh, I clean. The other one. And so, I have to soak with water, and I pour. So. <laughs> so, but did you pour the whole, the whole con, um, uh, everything? Like, because normally you have like um, you can use it like a lot of times, right? Not necessarily just for one use. Yeah, did no, you use okay. everything. You know, at no, once? that's a that's a little a little portion, but it's very I don't know. Okay. Yeah, wow, but but were you okay or did something yes. did you have? Right now I am laughing of that, but that, that, that mm. day you were scared. No, I, I can definitely tell you have you must have been really worried, especially because you were alone yes. with your baby. Yes. yes, and imagine if you have mixed it with more um your chemicals. No, that would have been horrible. Yes, uh -huh. and there was a meme, meme about this because I am I was cleaning my bath and suddenly I am the, in the sky. I am dizzy. <laughs> so yeah, normally time after we can laugh, but at the moment it's definitely not fun. All right, so that can be definitely something that we can get intoxicated with, right? Um, so somebody was asking about backache. I don't know what the, who was that person? Uh, Mr. Rivas, I don't know if that was you. Uh, but just remember guys I that, but yeah, I, I don't know if you were asking about backache, the meaning of this one. Um, but just in case guys, you don't yes. remember? Um, remember that you have these two words. You have the part of your body, that's back, it's, 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 and then you have in Uh-huh, exactly. Yeah. Ah, okay. So okay. this is why we can combine it and say backache, stomachache, 
headache, earache, toothache. Mm -hmm. So we can include A to other parts of the body too. Oh, and the last okay. one was a bruise. Guys, what is a bruise? When you hit a part of your body, because of my skin color, if I hit a part of my body, I get a big, big spot and it is in different colors, like green, yellow, black, purple. So that is called a bruise. Do you normally get bruises? No, um, it's, a, it's a spot, it's a circle. Uh -huh. It's a circle. Yes, that's a circle. Do you get bruises very commonly? No. No, te va a salir no, bruces, le dice la abuelita uno. Shouldn't be common uh, bruces in the in the body. I think they are very common. Moletones. So, yes, yes, that's a bruise. Mm -hmm. Like you hematoma, can... right? Hematoma. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the, the technical word. It's, well, no, not even the technical word. There is another one, but yes, that's the one we use. Okay, guys. So um Look at this one. Here we have a couple of equations, right? About what you can do. So, or what, you know, is the first thing that you should do. In this case, scenarios. We have, for example, number one. What do you need to do if you cut your finger preparing food? Guys, what is the first thing that you got to do when that happens? Um, I don't know if you are familiar with first aid, but if you're not, it's okay. Teacher. Um, yes. In my case, uh, I I used to have a, a bottle of alcohol. Ah. In a, a little, in a in a little, uh, what do you say? El kit de. First aid. First aid. First aid kit. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that and is first. And then I put and... I put cotton in a. Gaza. Ah, okay. So you try to clean the area. Yes. Yes. I to think. stop the bleeding. I'm yes. a clita in the area. And, and I'm sorry? Pay a curita in the area. <laughs> <laughs> so like I can put a little a little band-aid. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so that's a band-aid. Yes. I Tell have, us. I have heard that when you have a some uh, when you cook with the with something, mm. uh, you you cannot put uh, alcohol directly because it burns the the, the area, and yes, when you put the the alcohol, burn I guess some part of the skin, and that avoid the to cicatrize the 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 part. Uh, okay. Um, you know, um, what we normally do uh, for a, because it's just like an emergency, right? If it is super big, so you just try to put um, like a clean pad, a clean piece of fabric, whatever you have at hand, like to um, apply some pressure. So that is pretty much what we do, right? And if it is a small, I don't know if it is a good idea to put alcohol. To be honest, I have never seen that, but I have seen people uh, wash it super quick with soap. And uh, if it is not so deep, so as Jorge said, you can apply a band-aid. But Teacher, I don't know I, about alcohol, we can ask. In my case, I consider the, 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 the alcohol help to reduce the- The bacteria. The, 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 the pain. The pain, oh my. The, the pain, the pain, the alcohol, yeah, where? In the moment, in the but, moment. But maybe, the but maybe, maybe when you drink it. Well, <laughs> this, is, this is the second part. <laughs> to avoid the, the drink. pain. Not really, DJ. You really. Uh, I I drink the alcohol. Stop, the, the, shoot. stop the blood. The bleeding. Stop bleeding, the bleeding. Bleeding. Uh, has the blood. Yeah. I don't know, but, guys. But uh, I'm, I'm honest, pain, Mr. Teacher, reduce, the pain. <laughs> reduce the pain. Really, teacher? I have applied alcohol, but it hurts. It depends. 
How much do you use? I don't know. Gears. How much do you drink? <laughs> girls the i don't know probably the ones who are mothers uh, have more experience with this or the ones who have like older kids um or guys nobody's a nurse nobody studied a little bit of medicine do you have for um like some um i don't know like first aid instruction nobody no no i don't remember that no, I okay. have received uh, applied the uh, pressure, no? but uh, yeah, but I have heard that if if it's a, a big job, only to put some uh, pressure some gas at the end, some pressure, with and if it's still yes, mm -hmm. and if it's still, uh, so what you can put another, but you had you mm -hmm. cannot retire or or uh, withdraw. With you cannot withdraw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. withdraw the the. You only have to to put more, 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 and mm -hmm. that's it. That is totally right. But with the small ones, I am. I need to ask. I'm going to ask my friends. You know, <laughs> if I, I for, go for the home, small one, okay. uh, it, 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 that's uh, what I do uh, when I have to cut uh, with something. I only watch my hand or 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 the part that I have to cut with soap. And, well, yeah, yeah. If uh, sometimes only with water, because uh, I think that the the soap, uh, I feel that it's uh, increase the pain, because mm. when you, when the soap uh, go inside the uh, how do you the say cut. Erida? Erida? the cut or the okay. wound. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I I feel that it it's hurt uh, more. More. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, um, but but let me ask my friends. I'm going to ask them to give us a training here. <laughs> okay, but but it's really interesting. The part of alcohol, the, the first thing that came to my mind was like, how does it reduce pain? <laughs> okay, thank you, Mr. Palma. I don't know what, what technique Mr. Palma applies. <laughs> he has to tell us more. I have, a, I have an history that... Uh, I have I'm so uh, a drunk people, a drunk person mm -hmm. that was hit uh, by, by the truck in his head. And he has a uh, injury, it's a, actually a, a bit big. And some, like a deep injury? Yeah. And some oh. person was uh, putting a lot of alcohol in, oh. in, in, the, in the cup and no. he was crying. And the, the this person asked him if, if the cut hurt so much and he told him that he preferred to drink the alcohol instead <laughs> to put in the hair. <laughs> That's mean, why he was crying, yeah. I think it's really painful. Yeah, I think it's really, really painful. But but yeah. <laughs> who, kn who knows? <laughs> Okay, and we have a couple more situations here, guys. Uh, for example, what do you need to do if you fall down and you can not move a limb? Um, I'm sorry about the new vocabulary. So a limb is a part of your body. So, uh -huh, exactly, a part of your body, like legs, right? Uh, arms, shoulders, you know, so like the four, four arms, four legs. So what... What is something that uh, you consider is okay to do? Um, next one says, what do you need to do if your child, or maybe it's not your wrong. child, but somebody else drinks a poisonous liquid? Like the one that Claudia mentioned, the toilet. Oh, and what would you do if the toilet is floating? What is floating, guys? We saw this yesterday. Yes. When 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 there are uh, uh, the water is exceed in the in the the surface. Exactly. So I think this is a very common problem, the right? The water doesn't go away, yeah. uh, doesn't flush. Uh huh. So uh, the toilet is floating in the bathroom. What is something that you normally do? Uh, don't tell me I call somebody. <laughs> but yeah. like in your case, if you're alone, what what is something you need to do? Or a pan Teacher, on the stove is on fire. Yes, Malay. I usually I I I have I have a I don't know uh, uh, what is the the name of this uh, article for 
eh, destapar los el toilet. Aricol. Para el destapador, destapador de la ventosa. De ventosa a plunger. La ah, plunger. Ajá. Let's say plunger. I'm gonna write the name here. Does it work? Oh. A plunger. It has never worked for me, you know, but okay. yeah, teacher. Yeah, teacher. It works. A plunger. But, uh, it depends, it depends, teacher. Uh, when I when I sell this this uh, plunger, uh, I I made a mention uh, to the seller. Uh, I that I, I needed uh, the, the best mark, the best brand. Uh, brand, yes, the best ah, brand. Okay. Because uh, it depends the, the, the brand teacher, because I was, uh, I, I had a plunger that doesn't, that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Yes. The ones <laughs> I, I actually, bought. Yes, actually, I, actually uh, this, uh, this blogger, yes, work. Fantastic. I've heard that there is a different types of of this. Uh, yes, this, uh, also, yes, for different. for different uses. Uh, really? Use on the, yeah, if you use it in, uh, uh, for example, in the toilet is different than use it uh, in the uh, dishwasher uh, because ah, the okay. If you, I mean. I have to see, uh, for example, if you use it in the in the uh, shower, where where do you you can use the 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 one that is it's like a bell. It's a you only like a bell. Uh, I guess the it's the a normally, smaller maybe. Yes, it's a, it's, a, it's a small, but it's it's like a uh, it's the normal that. Or, or that normally we use it, mm -hmm. and for the toilet, there is another that has a like a, how how to say it is it's a small part that you put inside the inside the hole of the toilet, and when you push it, uh, you put or he send all the the pressure through the that hole through the hole. Oh. Yeah. Ah, yes, I'm watching now different kinds. Yeah. Oh, interesting. And I just bought one, but I didn't know. Ah, interesting. Okay. Okay. So next time I'm going to make sure I buy. Yes, I'm, I'm watching actually different kind of uh, plungers here. And as you said, you have some that are, no, you, oh, there you go. So you have some that are super, super crazy. Interesting. Okay. okay. <laughs> really interesting. So guys, we got more just before uh, we move on with the next. Uh, we have, for example, uh, this one. And before I forget, let me just go over this word that is growling, right? So a neighbor's dog is growling at you. So this, I think, is very common in our country. Imagine you're walking. And suddenly the dog is like, <laughs> so what would you do, guys? Uh -huh. So it's growling at you. Uh, what growling. do you do? Do you think it's a good idea to walk away, <laughs> to run away, to face no, it, confiable, teacher. to get? Uh, and now, because of the laws in El Salvador, you cannot kick them. You cannot mistreat them. So what do you think it's like a very good idea to deal with that? And the last one says, our child falls off a chair, right? And is bleeding. So remember, we have the word bleeding. That is the action, right? Like blood is flowing. So we oh have blood. God. That is sangre, right? But we have bleed. That is sangre. So you got different words over here as well. Okay, guys. So uh, one more time. So everybody can speak and can give us some ideas. I'm going to invite you to join the groups, right? And tell us why, what we should be doing. Okay, so let me just go over there. I'm gonna turn off my mic. All right, so guys, this is all yours. Give me just a moment. Let me present the screen with the other group too. Okay, guys, so we have some minutes. Please give us what, give us your opinion on this. 
What do you think is a good idea to do or not to do? This question is uh, normally uh, for women. A pan on the stove is on mm -hmm. fire. What do you do when this happens? What question? Sorry. Wrong, uh, wrong, my friend. Wrong away. <laughs> when, for the first uh, one, I will what? Uh, when a pan on the stove is on fire. Eh, una cacerola, ¿verdad? For ah, no, um, <laughs> what, woman? Sorry. Eh, I think, I think oh, the, the no. most of women men like, cook, men cook. Too. Yes, they cook. Eh, throw Ay. to the pan. <laughs> Is throw to the water. But in cases, uh, in some cases, the water don't don't um are functional. I I don't know. I like uh, oil. Uh, yes. Maybe uh, I, I will run. Run away <laughs> and leave my house. <laughs> Why? <laughs> now Why I the, don't know. Imagine, imagine you you have the the fire on. The pan is on fire, and you you don't you don't can you. Don't... A, 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 ¿Cómo se llama la tapera? Um, I don't know. Me imagino. Me imagino que de tap. Me imagino que es cuando la cacerola está y que agarró fuego. Agarró ¿sabes? fuego. Ajá, entonces se tapa la, la tapadera. Stopper, tapadera. Stopper. 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 Eh, se tendría que poner la tapadera para quitar el oxígeno. O que ya no llegue el oxígeno al fuego ¿verdad? y apagarlo. Yes, firstly, you need to, to uh, stop fire or uh, close the valve. Yeah. And second, I think, because uh, in my case, it's happened <laughs> in many situations because uh, I don't, I don't be. A good, a good chef. Good chef. The water, good chef. the water is burning in my pen. But uh, I think this happens uh, when the the food in the pen uh, is, uh, for example, you 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 are. Uh, watching your TV and you forget uh, that you was cooking. And I think when the this happened, when the 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 food uh, it it uh, se, se se pasó de, de cocido, but I don't know. Se quemaron los frijoles, por ejemplo. The beans was burned. Yes. Normally, normally it's for this uh, uh, cause. But in that case, a stopper, uh, put the stopper in the pan. Okay. Yes, yes, it's a good idea. Y en... Then uh, I I wait and, and, and I leave the 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 the, 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 the enough time. Uh, you're wrong because your wife is is very angry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for this 
for this situation, yes, I need to run. <laughs> <laughs> right. And a neighbor's dog is growling at you. What do you need to do? I usually, uh, when I going to run, I I get a, a piece of tree. Okay. To, oh, invisible to hit the dog if they, uh, I consider the invisible rock, it doesn't <laughs> work. Now. It doesn't work. <laughs> Leave the they invisible don't, rock. They for, don't me, mean, for me, uh, it's work. <laughs> hey, what does it mean growling? Uh, growling. Ah. Oh, uh, growling. Growling. Ah, okay. <laughs> Pero perro que ladra no muerde. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes, yes. But it's better if you are prepared. Uh, I consider it's better if you are one piece of, of something to, to avoid that can grow. Yeah. Uh, like like your when I have when I have to to pass for any place and I know that right in this place is a, a, a dog it, it that's like that's like um, and likes uh, uh, to grow uh, I prepare <laughs> I, I prepare a piece of a piece of tree, yes, or a, or a big stone piece of, of, of wood, yeah. I said, it is necessary. It is necessary. Oh I don't hit. I don't hit. I don't uh, damage. I don't uh, uh, push the dog. But uh, with with this, uh, uh, too long. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, the dog, uh, uh, get out of, of me. <laughs> run. But I if don't, you, I don't, I don't. You run. Hit. No, if you wrong, if you you wrong, it's de dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I dangerous. think if you run, is the bad uh, decision yes, that you can. That idea, you can yes. Tell it. Yes. They're, they're In my are, case, I, I'm fast trying fast to fast. to be. Yes. They are faster than you. <laughs> yes, it's more. Yes, it's more fast. Always. Yes. In my case, okay. I'm keeping. Uh, ah. Um, I don't know. I I don't want to move because I'm really scared when the oh, the, the dog growing me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, like. uh, I, I feel very scared. So I try to to search uh, looking for a, a car and and I um walk around the car uh, <laughs> and I try to avoid the the dog. <laughs> okay. When I'm here I all 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 the days I has I have to to pass in front of the uh, a house when there are three three dogs and all the days they are there there are in the, the street. Okay. So, I, so I try to to avoid and move to the other side of the of the road. But, <laughs> yeah. But sometimes they are just watching me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that is scare, but but usually they don't they don't move. Just... I am looking. I am looking because in my neighborhood uh, there's no there is a uh, two dogs that uh, they are in the street. But uh, a few a few days ago, one dog, one of these dogs, uh, growing me. But uh, 
I, I had a, a good idea. I give it a, a piece of, of bread and I feel uh, sometimes one of these dogs and usually uh, they doesn't grow me, growling at me and they and, and, and he moved the the, the toe. <laughs> Is a is a, a little friendly with me, mm -hmm. but the other is is a, is an angry is a a friendly dog. But, but they are uh, I, I, I don't know is a callejeros on the street. They mm -hmm. are on the street. But do you have some experience with with dog that uh, bite people? Or or bite bite you? Uh, yes, yes. I, I have a bad experience. Uh, yes, a Rottweiler bites me. Okay. Yes, when I was twelve years old, um, and they bite my hand because I, how do you say acariciar? I don't know. Oh, oh, I don't know, but oh. when I was acariciando, oh, <laughs> uh, oh, yes, yeah, um, and I think uh, the dog was very friendly because, okay, uh, and and but I don't know why they bite. Uh, he bite me, bite my my oh. all my hand, yes, Ooh. and I have the bad experience. You are very yes, lucky because the Rottweiler is a very dangerous, dangerous. Yes. A special yes. kind of dogs. Bigger, bigger, bigger dog. I, I really but your hand was it. It's okay, your hand. Or you, you have a horse. I have a they yes, I horse. have the cicatrix. <laughs> yes, oh. because he Imagine. inside he put inside her her teeth on my hands. Yes. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. you need to you need to visit the doctor. Yes. Twenty twenty one oh. vaccine. What? One vaccine. The medicine about the medicine. Twenty one vaccine. vaccine. <laughs> ah, <laughs> vacuum. Yes. The vacuum. The vacuum. Yes, I need this or vacuum. Or uh, today is only three. Three doses. What? Ah, okay. Today is only a three doses for mm. the, the rabia. I remember in that moment was 21. 21 in the mm. ombligo. I don't. Uh, in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> it's a painful. Yes, yeah. I remember that, but I, unfortunately, to me, I don't, don't get a bite. For the dog. You are lucky. Yes. <laughs> but I was I was near 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 to to be by by a, a dog. I remember they uh, broke my my what my my short. With your with their feet, but they don't bite me. Oh, I remember oh. just just in one time. Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, I I was a uh, I was seventeen, eighteen years old. Uh, one dog suddenly. Uh, came out of the house and bite me and then he run <laughs> he run <laughs> but don't don't uh, don't hurt me but just just uh, uh, they press when press me the, the skin wet 
with with, with her toe. Yes, with the uh, her uh, her teeth or colmillo. The 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 advantage was is, uh, the the fact of I wear uh, is a is a a, a blue jean. Mm. Yeah, I I have a. I have a look for this, for for that, because it's I I, I when I see the, the the path, I don't I don't I don't have a heart, but yes, uh, like the teacher said, moretones, así dos Bruce. tres moretones cabal, la marca and nada más. Okay, mira yeah. how yeah. Scars. Those are scars. Mm -hmm. So those are yeah, Scarface from the Lion King. <laughs> exactly, those are scars. Yeah, actually, we got to continue talking about that. You know, you got scars out of the dog bite. Oh, that's so bad. Yes, I have. <laughs> Okay, that's really bad. All right, guys. Well, that was really nice. You know, I, I think that we are missing still some time to continue talking about this because everybody has really interesting stories to share. But before we leave, I just want to, uh, uh, to mention one word I heard like in both groups. So uh, one of them is related to the vaccines. So normally, um, we can call vaccines or we can get um, uh, some injections, right? Uh, just careful because remember that in English, tenemos false cognates. So tenemos palabras que suenan iguales, pero son bien diferentes. So just to mention a couple, so tenemos embarrassed, right? Uh, que no es embarazada. So we have casualty, que no es casualidad. Um, y tenemos esa palabra vacuum, right? Que no es una vacuna. So just careful a little bit with some words because sometimes we get confused with those. Wait, vacuum, vacuum, missing one you. So vacuum normally, eh, a pesar que suena como vacuna, right? Eh, la palabra sería vaccine. We use the word vaccine. Vacuum es más como, es una aspiradora, right? So um, a vacuum is something that we have in our houses y se usa como para la limpieza. So just careful, eh, porque son palabras que sometimes eh, se, no, se nos parece mucho a inglés a español, right? And, y las adoptamos, so eh, just eh, FYI, right? Solamente para que we get them right there. All right, guys, eh, antes de, de dejarlo sit before leaving, Solamente me ayudan eh, con la confirmación de asistencia for today. And uh, let me see. I got Ana Raquel. Creo que Diana, but I'm not sure. Yeah, there she is. Okay. Um, so Ariela. Ariela was right here. I heard Claudia. I got Cristia. Diana. Then Diana was right there. Jorge. Juan Carlos, hey Juan Carlos, uh, super nice, nice participation these days. I'm glad to listen to your voice. I got Mr. Palma, I got Mary, nice to Mary. Haven't seen her either. Mary King, uh, that's it. Uh, yes, hecho, I don't I, see any. Uh -huh. Yeah. I haven't seen her. Creo que tenía dificultades para entrar. Mr. Yes. Villeda. Ah, oh, yeah, Mr. Villeda is here. So, no. hey, Mr. Villeda, good evening. So I heard Mr. Castaneda there. Nelson is here. Norma, eh, Olga, creo que no pudo entrar. She was running late. I got Silvia, I got Tatiana, and Wendy. Okay, amazing. Olga, okay, guys. Olga, um, right, emerging. Family emerging. Yes, I think she had like a little yeah. bit of an emergency. Okay, um, guys, super quick. Sometimes hablar de accidentes eh, por alguna razón es un poquito complicado. It's quite complicated because necesitamos mucha, mucho vocabulario para escribir what happened. All right. So, guys, eh, solo les voy a dejar una tarea adicional a su plataforma for tomorrow. 
and that is describe an accident. So describe, tal vez no un accident, sino algo que les haya sucedido, something that happened to you. Probably, uh, you know, si se golpearon, if you cut yourselves. Uh, so si se cayeron, so you trip and fall, right? So si se cayeron, tropezaron con algo, like what happened. Eh, Christian nos mostraba por ahí una cicatriz, guys. Si tienen alguna cicatriz grande, importante o una historia detrás de la cicatriz. So, um, pueden escribirla, you can write it down eh, para que, you know, organicen las ideas, check vocabulary before. Y la compartimos el día de mañana. We are going to be sharing this tomorrow, right? Because sometimes si necesitamos palabras adicionales eh, to try to explain, right, to other people what happened to us. So, guys, eh, that is the only thing for tomorrow. And please continue working with your platform a little bit. Thanks, everybody, eh, for your attendance. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow. So have an amazing day, everybody. Have an amazing rest of your day. <laughs> The leader left yeah. from the day. Thank you guys. Bye bye. bye, -bye. See you bye. Have a good bye. night. Bye. See you guys. Sleep well. Mm -hmm. Have a good one. Yeah. Bye bye. Thank you.